I honor this fire of mastery, this instinct for legendary smoldering deep within my strongest core. In the past, my dreams have been dismissed, my gifts have been denied, my heart has been hurt, my body has been torn. Yet my spirit is strong, yes, my soul knows I will win. So now I see walking into my fears as an arena for my greatness. I now get that rising to my ambitions is my platform for possibility. I'm sort of a superhero. Sort of. Few know it, I know it. I am understanding that until my vision becomes an obsession, my craft will never become my genius. I am becoming the Mozart of my game, the Oprah of my art, the Steve Jobs of my poetry. Each morning, while the rest of the world sleeps, I rise at 5 a.m. I run the rituals of the giants, the routines of the titans. I now understand that how I begin sets up how elegantly I win. And as I move through my day with a brave and genuine smile on my face, I optimize my practices, elevate my performances, and multiply my influences. Each day, in my own sincere way, I walk with the giants. The heroes of history are my peers. I create my own internal reality. I don't participate in the so-called reality of society. Doesn't matter to me. I'm in my own world, my alternate universe, born of mastery, passion, audacity, and love. Yes, I always work with love, live and deliver with love. And because this is my daily practice, it inevitably becomes my neurobiology. And because this is my consistent training, it automatically becomes my way of being that soon becomes my self-fulfilling prophecy. Yes, my inner reality, self-generated, sets me up to create it on the outside. Yes, I am therefore the captain of my destiny, the author of my fortune, the maker of my empires. I do this for myself in high respect for my greatest gifts. I do this for those I love so they too make their leap. I do this for the world that needs more heroes and humanitarians. That's me, a hero, a humanitarian, a legend.